that closing the cursor again we are opening the cursor 50 now we are using cursor for loop displaying the data because it is already committed it's already updated and committed the updated data we wanted to see when we execute this old values and new values because we are opening it for 50 only department number 50 only that record will come this is new values and these are old values old are this one new are this one so we are using for the first one normal loop second one for loop it's up to us it's up to you you can take a decision which type of loop i wanted to use cursor attributes cursor attributes as of now we have seen one attribute which is not found similarly cursor has four attributes is open found not found row count these are the four attributes of cursor available in plsql see type and row type these are the two plsql attributes in the same way the cursor also has its own attributes they are is open found not found and row count all these are single words there is no space in between anywhere now let us see one by one what is each attribute is open this attribute specifies whether the cursor is opened or not so if we use cursor name percent row type sorry percent is open before opening the cursor it is false if we use c1 percent is open after opening the cursor it is true and if we use this before closing the cursor it is true after closing the cursor it is false that is is open is true after open and before close is open is false before open and after close so the data type of is open is boolean true or false next found the data type of found is also boolean so it can take two values true or false even null also boolean will take three values true false null now found this will work based on the fetch statement if the latest fetch returns a record then found is true if the latest fetch does not return a record or does not found a record then found is false so found will work within the cursor that is open and close of the cursor if the latest fetch statement returns a record found is true it doesn't return a record found is false the next not found this is opposite to found if the latest fetch returns a record not found is false if it does not return a record not found is true so both are opposite to each other the data type of not found is also boolean so this will take three values true false and null row count the data type of row count is numeric it's number it is not boolean so the output could be zero or positive 
integer 0 1 2 3 and so on so this can be used with cursor cursor name percent row count usage of these attributes without opening the cursor is invalid or false or after closing the cursor or before opening the cursor it is invalid usage or the value is false so we shall always use these attributes between open cursor and close cursor that is after opening the cursor and before closing the cursor but these attributes can be used either inside the loop or outside the loop anywhere if you are using normal cursor normal cursor loop either before cursor before the loop or inside the loop or after the loop wherever you want you can use it but it should be after opening the cursor and before closing the cursor not before opening the cursor and not after closing the cursor now if we use what will be the row count the value of row count this will give the total number of rows fetched so far total number of rows fetched till now from the beginning that will be the output of row count if we use this row count attribute inside the loop then the result varies the result will be multiple this multiple depends on the number of rows of the cursor if the cursor's select statement is fetching 10 rows then the row count will give 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 to 10 because when the loop is executing first time it has fetched one record so row count is 1 when the row when the loop is repeated for the second time <coughs> it has fetched one record in the previous iteration one more record in the current iteration so 1 plus 1 it is 2 that is total number of rows fetched so far is 2 so row count will give 2 when the loop is executed third time so previously two records and now one record so total three records so row count will give three so on it will continue if we use the row count inside the loop if we use the row count outside the loop that is before opening the loop or after op closing the loop if we use row count before opening the loop it has not fetched anything so far in the first attempt it will give zero first attempt it will give 0 second attempt it will give 1 third attempt it will give 2 3 4 like that so the output will be 0 to 9 if it is before the loop outside inside the loop 1 to 10 if you use row count after closing the loop that is after end loop so the loop has iterated 10 times or 11 times total number of rows fetched is 10 so the row count will give only one record as output the result will be 10 now because it has fetched totally 10 records so far so the result is 10 in case of row count so this is the functionality of each cursor's attribute so is open found not found the data types of these three attributes is boolean the data type of row count is integer which is positive integer zero or positive number it will not give any negative number or it will not give any fractional number so row count will give the total number of rows fetched so far is open will say whether the cursor is opened or closed found will give true or false based on the fetch statement not found also will give the true or false value based on the fetch statement if the latest fetch returns a record fetch is true sorry found is true not found is false if the latest fetch does not return a record found is false not found is true if we use row count before the loop in the first iteration it gives zero 
inside the loop in the first iteration it gives one after the loop the first iteration it gives it has only one iteration it gives one if the loop has total 10 iterations then if you use row count before th opening the loop it will give 0 to 9 inside the loop it will give 0 to 1 to 10 after the loop after closing the loop it will just give one value as 10 so after the loop it will give just 10 inside the loop 1 to 10 before the loop it starts with 0 I think it will go up to 10 yes because 10 plus 1 11th time it will try to execute no we are using before opening the loop so it will give 0 only only one record not 0 to 9 it just give 0 because when it is loop is repeated the first statement the row count before the loop will not be executed so if you use before the loop it will give one record as 0 after the loop it will give one record as the total number of records of the cursor inside the loop it will give 1 to the maximum number of records in the cursor this will be the functionality of row count